Good evening, everybody. Welcome once again. I'm Chisemo Emechi. This time around, I want to inspire our youth again about time management. You know, everybody wants money, everybody wants to make money. But it depends on how you manage yourself and how you are willing to make the money. You know, like me, I want to be like Bill Gates, I want to be like Dangote. I want to be, I, I, I'm so serious to be as rich as them. But how do you become like them? One, you must be willing and dedicated to work hard like them. Because those men, they are really hard working. Because if, if they were not so hard working, they could have gotten to the extent they have got, they are now. Though know, it's God that blesses, but you have to do something. Because heaven blesses, uh, helps those that help themselves. So, my fellow youth, I want to, advise us on time management you have to make good use of our time our youth days is the best time to make any achievement you want in life now is the best time and opportunity you have to work towards your dreams and make sure you actualize them Bill Gates didn't just wake up one day and become Bill Gates Bill Gates works hard, works hard. Bill Gates makes good use of his time Bill Gates always finds a means of getting new opportunities to invest his time and resources in and to yield more. Dangote always works hard every day. Though directly or indirectly, he's always working hard to make sure that his business doesn't go down and he's always moving higher and higher every day. So, talk less of we that are still young, upcoming. What have you achieved that you say you, are, you want to rest? You have to work hard. You have to be dedicated. You have to make good use of our time. These days, I will see, I will see aspiring youths, most of them, engaging themselves into irreasonable activities, drug abuse, sexual abuse, and so many other things, which is very bad. These are good young men and women that should be doing something great. Look at Oprah Winfrey. A woman, but she's she, she's yielding higher every day. Look at Max Zuckerberg. Young man, he has family, but he's yielding higher every day. You have to make good use of the time. You have to invest your time because your time is the time is the greatest resource you have now. Even though you don't have money, if you can make good use of your time and think about something great, create something great, I I I, I tell you, you have money. As long as you have something good in you, you can make out. You have money. What's money? Money is any substance, any good thing that you can you you can offer in exchange to make cash. So we have to, you know, bring out that money in us and make it to be a reality. Stop folding your hand. Stop folding your hand or engage yourself in fetish activities. Because they told you that it does not have any after effect. All of them has after effect. All of them has after effect. They tell you to do this. It doesn't have any after effect. It has after effect. Don't listen to them. Work hard. God has given you the power, the strength, and the energy. You are youth. You are a youth. Youth has powers in them. You have powers in us. Don't deceive yourself. Nobody can deceive you unless you deceive yourself. Work hard. Focus on your dream. Make plans for yourself. Make targets where you want to be in the next five years, where you want to be in the next ten years. Be serious and dedicated to your dreams. Live a life of purpose. Your life is your life. You don't live for anybody. Don't live. Don't live because someone did something and you want to do what the person did. You don't know where his fate will land here. You don't know where your own fate will land you. So you have to focus. And do things that will assure us a better future. You see, today, if you go to the market, you see some old men pushing trolls, pushing wheelbarrow. Some of them, not all of them, some of them are doing that as a result of inappropriate time management. They misuse their youthful age. Now they are old, they should be resting and enjoying the wealth of their youth. Now they are suffering. Why is what they could have done? The hard work they could have done when they were useful. 
you know, when they have the power and the time, now they are old. They have so many things to take care of. They have work to do. They don't have the time again. And they don't have the strength again. But what am I saying in essence? What I'm saying is that we should wake up to reality. Be strong. Don't tarnish your image. Don't kill yourself by engaging in on sensible activities. Don't say it's because of where you are or condition. That's why you can't think about anything good. You are lying. Even if you don't have the money to sponsor yourself in anything, make sure you create those things and keep them. Get them ready. When the money comes, you know, you know execute them immediately. Find out something good to do. You can be an inventor. You can invest something. All things that need to be invented has not been invented. There are so many things that, that are still need, that still need to be invented. What are you doing? You can be the one to you can be the next inventor. By the way, Mercedes Benz, Mercedes Benz was a human being. He was a human being before he invented Mercedes. Now he's dead, but his legacy is still living. Mercedes is still the most expensive car, but the main person that invented Mercedes is dead. He's gone. But his legacy, his car is still on sale and the most expensive in the world currently now. What am I, what, what am I talking about? Well, I mean, I, when I talk about time management, you have to think about what you will do with your time that will favor you and favor your future and favor your generation and favor your society. Our nation. Think about what am I going to do to make sure my nation is moving higher. Think about America, for instance. Look at how beautiful America is. Look at how beautiful England is. Okay, look at how beautiful Ghana is. Some part of Ghana. These are collected ideas. They didn't just come by from one person. It's little, little efforts and appropriate time management. You, you set your plan, make your plans, give yourself targets. I think I've made a sense. Please think about this. It's very important. I'm Kisamu Emechi, the author of Avoiding Heartbreaks and Twisted Fate, the anchor of liftedbees.blogspot.com. It's a youth blog, a self development blog that helps you develop your talents and your powers. For more details or inquiries, contact me on Facebook, Kisamu Oyemechi. Instagram, Oyemechi Chisum, Twitter, Emmanuel underscore Richard One, E M A N U E underscore R I C H A R U D One, on Twitter, LinkedIn, Oyemechi Chisum, and so on. Thank you for being with me this time. You are blessed.